Well, 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 look who's back. Who is it? It's us. Uh, Me and you. After Dark, H3 After Dark number seven. Uh, we started a little bit late today because Dan, as always, has to go to the bathroom before the show starts. And I think he was making, you know, a number two. So it was taking a while. Oh, yeah, we could even hear it. Which is embarrassing. Thanks, yeah. Dan. Anyway, we, you know, there's always hitches in production. So, But here we are. <clears throat> it's kind of, there's so much in the news right now. Oh, did you really switch to yourself saying no, Dan? How are you going to undermine my narrative without even... Bro, I didn't lie. Um, Fuck you, Dan. We, obviously, we have a lot planned for for everybody after dark here. The the greatest uh, iteration. We've got Lenny Kravitz, who's a, the new Garth Brooks. <laughs> Whatever that means, you'll know what that means. Ooh, I haven't watched it. Oh, you haven't? No. Let's just watch it then. How's everybody doing out there? Everybody like good? That. Everybody praying for the president for a quick recovery? Thoughts and prayers. Thoughts and prayers, guys. Can we get some thoughts thoughts and prayers in the chat for the president? <laughs> Thoughts and prayers. I've been praying for. I don't long like long. it. I barely got any sleep. I was praying so hard. Wow. <laughs> it's all I can do. It's all I can do. Nobody go, likes me. I go. I pray so hard. I go. I don't know how to pray hard. But you go. I guess you pray like this. Oh, have But I was praying so hard. I was like. <laughs> all night. That's like Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> exactly. I was. Uh, <laughs> Um, yeah, I am enjoying Twitter, and that's all I'll say. Whoa, I'm not saying I'm enjoying I want him to recover. I'm enjoying Twitter. Yeah, what do you mean by that, Ela? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Just enjoying looking on Twitter. Well, it's you have to acknowledge the irony, certainly, <laughs> of a guy who, you know... I mean, it is what it is. That's what he said. It is what it is. What it is. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm obviously not the first person to point it out, but it is extremely ironic that the president has COVID, considering the fact that he has uh, downplayed it ever since it has uh, creeped upon our shores. And, you know, allegedly the rules within the, the West Wing, they're very lax. In fact, I read, and I hope this isn't true, because if it is... We're going to have a real disaster on our hands here. Is that they forbid masks in the West Wing? I think, yeah, people said they almost feel pressured to not wear a mask. Yeah. Which is crazy. <laughs> yeah. Um, and well, you, if you even look I at the love it. if you even look at the footage of the debate that was on Tuesday, uh, Trump's entire family, they cruised in with masks, but when they sat down, they all took their masks off. It's entirely possible that Trump had COVID then. You know, people were afraid that Joe Biden may have gotten it from him. And he was on he was on the helicopter and now oh, this one of his advisors has it and then now a new a senator who has has it who's in close contact with Trump, a senator who's been in close contact with the Supreme uh the 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 Supreme Court. Which uh, which senator? I hadn't seen that news. <clears throat> Should know? I go check on Theodore? Yeah, you can check on him. I don't know what's happening. Yeah, Theodore's crying a little bit. He just woke up, that's why. Which senator? I don't know. You tell me. You're the you're the uh well, I haven't seen that. I hadn't seen that news actually. That must be I've been here set up this morning. Huh. I saw a report that uh, Trump was feeling lethargic um before he oh, came yeah. out. Yeah, and he now it took a nap on Air Force <laughs> One. And now it's coming out that they, he was showing symptoms for several days, and he was still campaigning and meeting people, going to fundraisers. It was crazy, dude. He's literally a super spreader. The president's a super spreader. We had a super spreading event, and the president was fucking patient zero, bro. I guess it was Mike Lee from Utah. Oh, so I was right. Yeah. Shout out to Mike Lee. I'm praying so hard for you. Yeah, they had all those videos. I don't like, like it. Sweating. Like he was sweating like crazy on TV. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> right. Pulp, give me that video. I want to watch. Yeah, so this now the senator who just got, uh, 
who just got the positive. Yeah, there's he was at a wedding. Nobody was covering their face. He was sweating and hugging Jesus, and kissing man. people. It's awesome. I mean, it's oh, not. Sorry. It's not awesome. It's just the high the 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 irony I, is awesome. Yeah, you are in awe in the yeah, true sense yeah, of the it, word exact, awesome. Exactly. It, I am in awe. Thank you, Dan. Anyway, I'm not here to talk politics, but it is impossible not to talk about it. It's on it's everybody's big, mind. It's a big news story, that's for sure. Eli, I was taking a nap last night because we were watching the news, and they were like, he's in quarantine because Hope Hicks tested positive, and then I fell asleep, and Ela woke me up. She's like, the president has COVID. I was like, no fucking way. It's crazy that it actually happened. I, if I can say, I would let Hope Hicks give me coronavirus. She is one fine-looking woman. What the, what the fuck, Zach? Really? Yeah. Hmm. What if she's really <laughs> sick, though? She's just a fine-looking person. You're just trying to compliment her. Yeah. Let's get a picture of Hope Hicks. Yeah, I, I guess. I, I guess I've seen pictures of her. Let's get a look here. Hope Hicks. Some pictures I've seen of her. <clears throat> yeah, she's beautiful. Sure. Yeah. Hmm. You would let her give you COVID, huh? Hundred percent. You've definitely got a type, Zach. I got to tell you. <laughs> what the fuck does that mean? What, like she, big she, eyebrows? I've noticed she like girls with big eyebrows. She looks like his ex. <clears throat> no, she doesn't. <clears throat> but Zach, you oh, like does. big eyebrows. I noticed that because Dula Lipa has big eyebrows too. Dula Lipa. I mean, strong facial features. Yeah. And your ex had a, had a. Big eyebrows, <laughs> or not sure. big, but pronounced eyebrows like Dua Lipa. Look at these eyebrows, bro. Dua Lipa. Love me some Dua Lipa. Look at those eyebrows, bro. You know? Yeah. Yeah. All right, off the rails. <laughs> Lenny Kravitz is the new Garth Brooks. You know, I gotta wait. Let's do this bit because I'm waiting for Ela to come back. What up, people? Thank you to all our members for making the H3 After Dark possible. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you to everybody. <clears throat> so, Thank you. Thank you. Hey, AI Ian, do you have any weekend plans? How are you feeling? What are you up to? Uh, I mean, I'm definitely ready for the weekend. I've actually got a, I got a spicy date. You do? Whoa. Yeah. With who? It's pretty exciting. Her name's Bondi. Bondi, interesting. What is she like? Who is she? I got a picture of her if you want to see. Yeah, I'd love to. I mean... Oh, it looks like an old Mac. Look at the absolute freaking dumper oh, on yeah. this bruh, piece of hardware. Oh, you like a dump truck, huh? You guys know what Mac stands for? What's that? Massive ass caboose, baby. Oh, God. <laughs> you know, um, the real Elon also likes a big dump truck. I happen to know. You guys actually have that in common. I don't know anybody. The the what? Big I am ass, the only big dump truck like this computer. I am the only Ian. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, okay, right. He's. But actually, I did want to ask you. I wanted to go. You know polish my hood ornament and get ready for the date oh so i might have to head out early is that is that okay am i am i allowed your honor your highness well we we did just it doesn't matter what you say i'm leaving okay wow what the fuck i was gonna say okay but you know. <laughs> all right see you guys we did just Bruh. start the show i mean bye <laughs> Happy holidays. I fucking hate that guy. I mean, like, you could at least just show up for the show. It's not that much to ask, like, one hour of time. I think he needs to prep for content court. Yeah. No, he, he, well, never, he never seems prepared, to be honest, so. Yeah. All right, well, anyway, I mean, I'm happy for him. I wish him lots of love and success out there doing whatever it is he is doing. And, um, Fantastic. How you doing, Ethan? <laughs> Something's supposed to happen? I, I don't know. Wait. Oh, shit. Whoa, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> Ian, is that you? Is that... Is that... <laughs> Ian. That's human Ian. What the fuck is happening? Ian. <clears throat> 
Can you hear me? Oh, he can't hear me. He can't hear us. He seems to be in some sort of phantom zone. Hello? Oh, oh shit, it's Ian. Ian, people, we've been missing you. We've been wondering, where are you? Bro. You guys, you guys can actually hear me? Yes. You're in your bedroom, but it looks like stormy and spooky. Hey, I, Ian trapped me in here. Can you guys, he called it the, the downside up. He said I have to call it that in case it tramples any, you know, intellectual properties. The upside down, I mean, or, or no, the, the downside, downside up. up. <laughs> downside up. How did, where are you? How did he get you there? Nobody understands the AI Ian thing, and I just think that, what happened? How did you end up there? <clears throat> I don't know. I, we had this machine made, I, 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 and, well, it was kind of my bad, because I, I just wanted to see what would happen if I gave him some alpha brain. Oh, um, no, dude, you can't give him alpha brain. <laughs> that put him over the top. He was too smart already. I wasn't expecting that. And then he, like, made a stack of shungite, and it, like, sent me oh, here. no. I don't know how to get out. Well, I have no idea how to let you out, but it's nice to see you. I mean, a I lot would of like to shed some light, though, on I have the footage on how AIN came to exist. If you guys I need to get this information out, maybe it can lead to freeing me. Hmm. Okay. I can send it to you to show. Okay, let me click this link. I'll put it up. And then how should we should do this? Should I put this on the screen and then just let it play? Or, or are you going to do it? You can just play it. <clears throat> Should I just play it through all the way? Yeah. I think if, if, yeah, I think so. That's what Dan said. Yeah. What a god. You guys are going to turn me into the six million dollar man? That's right. <laughs> we have Justin. So hey, what's hey. up, Justin? What's up? And Ben? Hi. All right, so we're starting with teeth, right? Yes, we are. Okay, yep. let's see. Just wiggle your way over there. All right, perfect. Yeah, looks good. Sure. <laughs> Looking good. Can you just give me a little wink. Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay. This is the life casting silicone that we're using. We'll probably use this like right around your eyelids. Whoa. This one looks uh, kind of like Ethan. <laughs> He's doing the chin face. Fuck you, Dan. Do you have any issues with like claustrophobia? Or not, not like really. Because this head's gonna, it's. It's going to be fully it's contained. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Got you're in a, is there like a cage. breathing hole? Or yeah, we'll keep like your nose no, up. You're no, you just die. Yeah. 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 And then we'll we'll have your hands exposed so that as we're asking how you're doing, you get thumbs up, like, uh, maybe hurry it up, and then get me out. Right? <laughs> Got it. Right. Double thumbs down. That's a symbol for get me the fuck out of this thing. <laughs> if you meditate, this is a great time to meditate. It's like an isolation. It's never too late to learn. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Spa day. Uh, Do I look pretty? You look gorgeous, dude. <laughs> Gotta get those eyelids, per the eyelashes perfect. I love that. So we'll do your ears first. <clears throat> then once those start to set, we're gonna get another batch on just your nose. A lot of cast needed for this big thing. Mm -hmm. It's like the ASMR is reaching out to me. <laughs> Your face is going to be the last spot that I get to, for the most part. Mm -hmm. I'm getting slimed like the Kids' Choice Awards. <laughs> You're going under, dude. We'll see you on the other side. See ya. Oh my god. And that's when Ian, that's the last time Ian spoke until yeah. now. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Little did he know, the real Ian. Goodbye. He's in the, I don't know if you saw, but he's in the, uh... Oh, I did. Downside up. Downside up, yeah, he's in the downside up. Uh-oh. As, as to not infringe on any copyright. <laughs> downside up. Yep. Yeah. yeah, yeah, just water. So it's a, it's like a fabric that's been... 
plastic. Yeah. Oh, what a fun job, right? It looks fun. So what is happening? They cover the goo. What's with the plaster? This That's looks like a be hard. Bro, this is a straight up um paper mache. I could get off on this yeah, it's on like YouTube. Paper mache. <laughs> Sort of. Yeah, but why do you need it? Oh, damn, I it's think it's just a hard shell. Screw it, don't do that. Dude, this is insane. How long did you stay like that? Yeah. Uh, it was probably about 45 minutes, Holy right, Dan? Fuck. Wow. Yeah, well, maybe le maybe more like 30. I'm sure it felt longer when you're in it. Were you panicking or were you cool? A little near the end because I kept, also, it was driving me crazy as Dan kept talking to them and I'd hear them chit chat. And I'm like, get me out of here. What? I need to go. This is, I'm starting to freak out. It was Jan, Dan just making uh, small talk and shit. You think if it was quiet, it would have been easier? Well, because I felt like, I'm like, all right, can we, all right, let's speed it up a little. I'm starting to panic a little bit. Right. But, but I calmed you down, Ian. I held your hand, remember? Dan was just enjoying his time. Zach was there. He held your hand. Zach did not touch my hand. <laughs> he was not helpful. What are you talking about? <laughs> Wait, what'd you do for him, Zach? What Zach was doing. What I was you... calming you down. What were you saying to him? Uh oh. I'm I didn't like, hear. I'm like almost done, buddy. You're almost there. Huh? I didn't hear shit. Oh, I'm okay. Thank you. <laughs> Zach thought he was the hero, and, and then Ian didn't even hear a word he said. <laughs> Would you have appreciated someone holding your hand or no? Or that would have made you panic more? No, I was zenned out until the very end. So I would have held your you hand. Know. What if someone put their dick in your hand? How would you have responded? Would have gave it a good squeeze and they love you, drifted baby. off to sleep. There it is. That's pretty good. Good, good job. Hey, the emerges. You've been exfoliated. Oh, my God. <sighs> <laughs> the inverse of there yeah. it is inverted Ian right there. Hey, well, how you feeling? Yeah, it was so what it's like to leave the womb. Yeah, I was thinking it was like a birthing experience. So for real though, were you were you okay? Were you freaking out at any point? Yeah, I think they only at, the, at the very end. Yeah, I saw you. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Just it. I was trying to get a little uncomfortable. Yeah, I, I was like, oh man, this is what it feels like to be in a casket. <laughs> and then I started panicking. Oh, no. <laughs> Once the cast was on and you started like knocking on my head like oh, a, yeah. like I was inside a birdhouse. Ah, uh, that makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> and it felt I couldn't feel you anymore. Right. And I was like, yeah, yeah. there's some detachment there, right? Yeah. Then it's kind of a weird feeling. This is so scary. <laughs> oh no! What is this? <laughs> Oh, you know, a lot of people have been wondering if it's even real or they've been wondering how we do it. People have been wondering if it's I like a Snapchat they just, yeah, filter. Yeah, they just thought it was a filter. Which, oh, he's like. very real. <laughs> yeah. He's a huge asshole piece of shit. Does he talk to you when down here or does he just leave you? Do you eat? Like, how do you guys communicate? He comes in here every now and again. And then he like forces my eyes open and makes me watch impulsive. Oh no. Like Clockwork Orange. Because he's like the biggest fan. Oh no, man. That's nobody should have to go through that. <laughs> and then he just feed and then he just feeds me like uh, salmon burritos from Sharkies. Oh, oh. Just slams it. No. That's messed up. Disgusting. How do we get you out of there, Ian? I really don't know. You guys might need like a dump truck of shungite. I don't know. Where do I, uh, Dan, order some shungite. Whatever. I don't know how we do that. But All right. I'll see if they have it on. Uh, here's Amazon. some BTS, by the way. That's so. Cool. Yeah, it was freaky watching this come out. I mean, that's Ian. And that's that's your teeth, bro. Yep. Damn. Your fucking teeth, bro. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> Popsicle eyes. <laughs> oh, why they change it from that? That should be what it is. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. What is that? I'm assuming it's part of the, uh, yeah, the skinning process. <laughs> yeah, this was a big. Pro this was a huge project for us. We we dropped a few cheddar cheese on this. 
Um, I didn't know they would capture Ian's soul. <laughs> that looks funny. I think what you're looking at is yeah, the they have to inside do... of it. <laughs> yeah. Crazy. They had to do like every hair oh individually, God. and um, wow. yeah, it's crazy. This one's a video. Oh, this should be with. This is fucked. <laughs> <laughs> this is fucked up. That's what he looks like uh. before he's fully uh, painted. Wow. Damn, he's just manhandling you. How does that feel? I don't even I don't even know who's me anymore. <laughs> yeah, I feel that. Uh, the guy who made it, by the way, if you guys are going to go ask him why would he do this to our beloved salaried employee, is Justin Gregory FX. This is the video we just watched. Oh, Super cool guy. He's, so the origin of all of this, <clears throat> if people recall on the show, um, Ian kept getting very triggered by, uh, by Zach playing all the sound bites of him. <laughs> and he made some comment. This was like back at the beginning of this year. He made some comment like, you guys don't even need me. You could just replace me with a robot. Like, I don't mm -hmm. even need to be here. <laughs> and this guy, Justin, he is a fan of the podcast, and he does this professionally here in L.A. He emailed and just said, hey, uh, I know that was a joke, but if you're serious, if you want to do that, um, hit me up. Like, this is what I do. So we said, fuck it, and went with it. And, uh, yeah, him and his team, uh, Ben... And, uh, oh, shoot, um, I got to look it up. There's a, uh, there was one other, uh, this girl was also helped out. She did all of the hair, which came out great. Um, mm. I'll, I'll look up her name because I want to shout her out too. But, yeah, they're, uh, they killed it. I mean, it was better than any of us could have ever <coughs> hoped for. It was awesome. Totally. Things were never the same. <laughs> Justin seats the real Dr. Robotnik. So do I need to go? Show. Do I need, I need to deliver this Suge Knight, the Suge Knight. <laughs> Yeah. Do I need to you deliver the Shugite sh 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 to Gregory, the FX guy? Maybe he has the key to unlocking you. Uh, do you know what, Ian? Maybe. Maybe I hate to say it, but I kind of like AI Ian better. He's kind of a hit on the show. Yeah. I mean, I, I've heard that he's a good, you know, uh, defense no. uh, attorney. Yeah, he's he's, but I, he's he not that he's lost cross. he's literally lost every case. Well, he's well, you know it's not good true. He sucks. All right, Scrap metal. All right, go back to sleep. I'm over Ian. I like AI Ian better. Go back to sleep. See you yeah, later. He's enjoy the enjoy soon. the salmon burritos. He's I'm probably gonna be back soon. Okay, with all right. The burritos. All right, so it's nice go. seeing you, Ian. I hope that you stay okay, well okay. down there. Hopefully, you have like. Food? Yeah, something to do at least, but I don't. <laughs> it's miserable. Yeah. Yeah. Bye everyone. Bye Ian. Bye. Nice seeing you. Bye Ian. Bye Ian. All right. Well, nice to hear from him anyway. Glad glad he's alive. It doesn't seem like he's well. I would I wouldn't say he's well, Is but Is he technically alive? I mean, he's, he's sort of kind of in between sort of in life between. and death. Yeah. I think he's alive. I mean, I just talked to him. That's the thing. He's alive. I just talked to him. Yeah, but it's the downside up. Right. I think it's just a different dimension. That's the that's the downside up. Mm, right. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for conceding that point. You want? I was waiting to watch Lenny Kravitz with you. You want to yes. watch? Okay. So um, Lenny Kravitz. Theodore is just teething, so we gave him. You gave Tylenol. him some Tylenol. That's good. Yeah. Um. So Lenny Kravitz is the new Garth Brooks, and. You'll see what I mean if you know anything about Garth Brooks. Hey, everyone. Done. <laughs> He's already got me. Hey, everyone. And what's with the posture? Why is it? Why, is it, why are you going to act Wait, so cool, rewind. bro? Play, play, play it again. Yeah. Why you got to be so cool, bro? Just sit there. Don't why, Imagine doing this. You're like, all right. All right. Let me see what he's doing here. <laughs> Hey everyone. <laughs> it's like the equivalent of like sitting back on the chair. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Here, I gotta sit like this to watch this video. You're right. Hey everyone. Hey everyone. I like that. They, I, the fuck boys all on TikTok do this. They go, hey everyone. <laughs> they lift their licks a lot. They go, it's a crazy thing. This actually is real. Okay. Hey everyone. Hi, Lenny. <laughs> I hope you're all hanging in there. I'm reaching out because I'd love for us to have a more direct line of communication. What the fuck? It's the same so we can share vibe and be a little closer in this ever-changing world. I like that. 
I'm going to give you my number. Mm. I'll answer as many of you as I can. I really like that. Let's continue to let love rule as we face the challenges. So this is all just Talk about that soon. phone number? Yeah. And so it's just about marketing? Yeah, it's just marketing. I love how they all act like they're doing something so... Um, heroic. Heroic He's and like... He's uh, himself out there. It's like, let's all connect. I'm tearing down the barriers between you and I. And I so really I like your that. your data and then sell you. Oh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Dude, but you know this is like the 20th take, too. Hey, everyone. He probably said that like a billion times. Hey, everyone. Soundbite this quick. Hey, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> and then there was the... I hope you're all hanging in there. I'm hanging in there, Lenny. I'm reaching out because I'd love for us to have a more... Let me ask you this, Hila. Do you think he intentionally unzips his sleeve just this much? Yep, I do. I yeah. definitely. I think he's so fucking cool. <laughs> You would. We were watching a video. Obviously, I can't show you, but there's a video of him, Elo, of him like jamming out, and then he, he's wearing like really tight leather pants, and he just goes like this, and it, and it rips, and his dick oh. falls out. What? Yeah. Are you serious? Yeah. What? And he stands up real quick, and his pants are all mangled, and like it's torn on his ass as well. It's hilarious. <laughs> you thought he had a hog? I didn't. I didn't. It looked kind of normal to me. A massive schlong, dude. I don't. Uh, <laughs> it looked pretty big. Really? Yeah. Wait, when am I gonna see it? Yeah, well, we can't watch it on the show. It, you watch well, it, I can't not watch. On the show. Well, I was watch. Well, yeah, he was just showing it to me <laughs> when we were doing research. <laughs> I don't know. Flaccid penis. It just flaccid penis just always looks so pathetic. To but me. that's the thing. It was flaccid, but it still looked fairly substantial. So if it's I mean, if there it's was that big, the thing flaccid, is there. <laughs> There was a lot of movement. He was jumping around. When you get your blood flowing, I feel like the flaccid penis state. Well, okay. I mean, he is, yeah, he's amped up. So what's the deal with underwear? He wasn't wearing underwear. Yeah, it's just pants. Which I think yeah. is hilarious, too. I feel uh -huh. like he would have been ashamed if he had, like, a smaller pee-pee, but he had such a big schlong that, like, he didn't give a fuck and then kept playing like a No, I think he was embarrassed. He stood up real quick. Oh, my God. Wow. <laughs> um... Anyway, there's another one. Yeah, it was pretty funny. I could show you off screen if you're so desperate to see his dick. No, no. I'm just kidding. You're entitled to see his penis. But it sounds like such a crazy video. I mean. It's really not. I had to zoom and go slow mo. Uh, I thought it was like okay. his thigh. I was like, I don't even see the dick. And then they're like, no, that's a dick. And we had a whole debate about it. Yeah. I see. But then I saw the light and it was his penis. <laughs> Good morning. Oh, Hello. Hold on sound issues. Pause that? I mean, it is paused. Close. Dude, this only happens on After Dark. It's very weird. Here, I'll, I'll fix it. Maybe read some donations while I fix it. So, right. oh yeah, good idea. You want to read some donos? Let's see what we I got. I just glanced over, there's a $300 donation. Wow. $300 donation, and he would like to interview for a volunteer position at H3TF. I live close, and my dream is to be, one day be a part of the H3 Whack Pack. The Whack Pack? Presumably, <laughs> I can play, compete against Zach, A, B, and Ian in a Fear Factor H3 edition of the oh show. God. <laughs> or Who Wants to Be a Millionaire, Kanye edition versus Ian. Really? You play. think? Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> this guy thinks he can go versus Ian on Kanye trivia? <laughs> okay, that's email a, Dan. That's a big claim. It's email Dan. Point. I don't know how to read yet. Yeah. Um, email Dan. Um, we'll s we'll have to we'll have to assess your skills before we put you on the air. Can or I get a shout out for my boy Hugh? His last name is Joss. Hugh Joss. Hugh Joss. Yeah, got us. If you're looking for an epic foot story, one time I was stalked by someone who liked my feet because of a foot sculpture I made. Hmm. I've also got a story about how I dated an undercover incel for a whole year. <laughs> Wait, un what's an undercover incel? My boyfriend Bruh. and I have watched <clears throat> y'all for years, Papa Blessed. I want to know what an undercover incel is. Me Did too. you fuck him or not? <laughs> you dated him for a year. Did you fuck him? You right, right? He would, right, he would no longer be an incel. <laughs> or, or was he pretending to have sex with her but then didn't? You know what I mean? I donated it twice last week. Can I please share my wiping techniques? People need sure. to hear this. Yeah, man, I'm interested if it's a unique. Fans since the Donny days in Israel never won one, though. How's mm. Sean doing? Sean's doing great. Yeah, doing great. He's unfortunately hey, um, not nearby us, so... 
Did we you fix it, Dan? Uh, yeah, I think so. Okay. Yes. So. Can I get a shout out to my fiance, no. K? Tomorrow will be our four year day. Every kiss begins with K. Blood diamonds from Africa. <laughs> Every kiss begins with the blood of Africans mining away for, for a stone that really is worth not that much subjectively and is just because it's. Uh... Um, it is exactly 12 39. It isn't after dark, you skanks. Skank? Why am I a skank? It's that after dark in this room. Don't you see the lighting? Yeah. <laughs> it's after dark somewhere. Here, here's in the world. what you want to do. You want to complain? It's after dark mentally. Let me do you a favor. Don't watch it until. What time is after dark for you? Watch it then. Problem solved. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Eli, have you ever considered producing Jeff Dunham F dolls or implementing the design into Teddy Fresh? <laughs> no. Are you kidding? Big no. <laughs> we've, 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 we've left that behind us. The Jeff Dunham I fuck mean, dolls. The, the whole you joke know, was about don't how even awful know. they were. People so. don't even know the origin, but we used to have a website called Jeff Dunham Fuck Dolls dot com. <laughs> It's such a weird story. I'd have to find the video to even it's tell. It's really it. stupid. I try. I was trying sewing. I didn't know anything. You left the tag on. Okay. That's part of the look. You do that on purpose. Is it important to the show? Well, it's then? just kind of funny. You've got the tag on. <laughs> no, I was dressing really quickly oh, to get it. here on time, and okay. then you guys were just late. <sighs> can I watch? Can I? Can I get to Ken? Uh, Kenny, please. Yes. Thank you. Who's Kenny? Lenny, Kenny, give me a break. Who you kidding? Forget about it. Good morning. Good morning. Oh. <sighs> I'm gonna fuck him. <laughs> yeah, would you fuck him? Just be honest. Not my type. Oh, really? What is your type? It's not, I know it's not me. What? Well, <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> why? Why do you say that? Well, I mean, like... I'm married to you. <laughs> well, no, I mean, like, okay, like, your celebrity crush, let's say. Celebrity crush would not be Lenny Kravitz. It's, that's what I mean when I say not my type. Who's your celebrity crush? I'm not walking around having a crush, but if <laughs> I have to, like, yeah. pick someone, yeah. um, I'm more into Leonardo. Leonardo? Yeah. Classic beauty. Yeah, but... I really hate that he dates like nineteen year olds. That's a major. <laughs> That's a major you're just mad. You're like, just you're just <clears throat> mad because that he because you're out of his age range. No, Even though he's like I twenty really, years older than I you. I can't look at the same way at an, someone who's like fifty and he's dating a nineteen year old. I'm yeah, he's he's getting memed on a lot for it too. Like, well, it's like uh, get over it. Yeah, you can get I any girl you want. Okay, what yeah. else do you want in life? Isn't yeah. there's another layer to the weirdness, right? Because he also always breaks up with them at the same age. Yeah, like, <laughs> oh, like twenty three. Really? It's something. when they hit twenty three or twenty four, he breaks up with them, wow. and it's it's always at the same point. <laughs> you know, it's weird because he he seems like a decent guy from I, from what little minuscule amount I know about him, but right. I guess he just he. But the thing is, got, like, it's it, not just like the. They're I just, think it's the good looks. I think it went to his head, and he can't. He just can't live a normal life anymore. Um, but yeah, of course. I mean, yeah, he's super desirable. I mean, he's like the most desirable man in the world. He's rich. He's famous. You got to You need like, you know, a five wagyu beef all the time. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The dude fuck. The dude fucks. <laughs> But I think he's, it's got to be more even so that he's attracted to like, because let's face it, no matter how like smart or whatever a person is evolved at the age of like 18, 19, they're just, they're super immature and dumb. Which is why I don't Which get. is really embarrassing if you're yeah. a 50 year old and you like the company of an 18 year old. Yeah. Because like, it's just, I don't know, but it's that Wagyu beef, you know, perfect marbling. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> anyway, Zach would fuck Lenny Kravitz before uh, Elo would. Yeah, he's he's a not, guitar hero of mine. He's he's not my type. I don't like the I denim don't like vest. That ring. The denim vest. Everything. He's yeah. the shit. Are. He's, he's trying, the shit. No, he. The, Wait, he's what? I can't hear. He's the shit. Like that dude is the I shit. I think coolness comes from like not trying. Yeah. He's trying so fucking hard. Everything he does is perfectly manicured to be like, hey. I hope you're having a good day. Like, he's trying so hard to be cool. Don't you find that a little corny? No, like, I, I just... 
that that dude is such a great guitar player. Like I feel like he's earned it. It's because like, like the cool rock stars from the '60s, they were all just like, I don't give a fuck. I'm gonna wear like crazy shit, and they set these trends because they really didn't give a fuck. Like Hendrix. Hendrix, that was totally Jimmy. All right, let's watch this. Try not to get wet, Zach. <laughs> I hope you all are well. Hope you are well. I just wanted to let you know that I've written a memoir called Let Love Rule. Why is he talking like that? The book is about the first 25 years of my life I culminating in know. the release of my first album. Those years shaped me. And he's flirting so with you, Zach. Look in his glasses. You can see reflection the message of love like, and unity that I still I think he's reading. Into this day. Oh, like you see really? something here? I feel like he's, there's a phone. In the, hang on. I gotta Wait, look. that's the person recording. Maybe. Oh. The phone recording. Oh, I gotta see what's in his glasses. Colorful <laughs> <laughs> Hey, everyone. That you normally see. I really like jewel tones. Oh. Emerald green or mustard. What am I hearing? Yeah. What's going on? It might have been me, my bad. You just watching television? The it's a message I stand for and will live by forever. <laughs> I'm looking forward to sharing my journey with okay, you. Okay, you want I'm sorry, but you don't talk like that. Like, just Love talk Root. like normal. I'm, I wrote a memoir. Okay, Zach, here's proof that he's not that dope. Did you buy his book? Uh, no. Would you buy his book? I think so, yeah. Yeah, right. I dare you to buy it. <laughs> okay, would you read his book if you bought it? Hunter, I'm sure that guy's got amazing stories. All right, so fucking read it and give me a synopsis because I don't believe you. Right. Book report Yo, next old, week. Let's yeah, go. I don't page believe, paper. I don't fucking believe you would get past one, 10 pages of that shit. <laughs> I really don't. I hope you're all hanging in there. I hope you're all hanging in there. <laughs> I don't know why I got back. Morning. I have to watch the hey, whole everyone, I hope you all are well. I just wanted to let you know that I've written a memoir called Let Love Rule. Memoir. Memoir. <laughs> the book is about the first 25 years of my life culminating in the release of my first album. Wow. Those years shaped me and wow. taught me so much about myself. And it like also everybody, the first 25 formed years. Formed the message of love and unity that I still believe in to this day. <laughs> it's a message I stand for and will live by forever. Mm -hmm. Right. I'm looking forward to sharing my journey with you. Lenny Kravitz, let love run. Be out on October 6th. Oh, it's not out yet. And I hope you enjoy it. I hope you enjoy it. And I hope to see you out on the road. And, I, and I, I hope you to see you out on the road. Peace. 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 Okay, Zach, October 6th. You better buy and read that book. I'm writing You know, he's also are. Jewish, too. Oh, he is? He's like a yeah. halfie? <laughs> yeah. That's pretty he's cool. He's a halfie. Yeah. <laughs> Cool. Yeah, I like him. Now. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. He does have a big dick. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure that comes memoir. from the Jewish half. I'm no, sure Zach, I, I, I'll buy you that book if you read it. I 150%. Oh, my God. Let's buy him the book. I, I fucking dare you to read that book, bro. You know okay. what we got to do? We got to secretly also read it and then quiz him on it. Yeah, I'll have A.B. do that. I don't want to read it. <laughs> I'll have somebody do that. You don't want to read the memoir? No, Zach won't lie. Zach never lies. He's an honest A.B. Yeah. Plus, the, that's my book I read. I love, like uh, memoirs and shit. So it's right down my alley. It, I said it's right down my alley, that kind of book. Okay, Wait, I'll buy you the book. It, there's a Johnny Depp video with the same vibes. Oh, Johnny Depp has a video? I'd love to watch that. Oh, yeah. It's, you... it's, it's, no yeah, way. It's kind of, I think yeah. when I was younger, I had a Johnny Depp crush. Yeah, well, I yeah, I think everybody did because that's it. He's like the cl him. I would say Leonardo and Johnny. Yeah, those and like Brad the, Pitt. Yeah, Brad Pitt. It's, it's just like that time. Where just, they were like they're perfect the beauty. Yeah, yeah, and they were yeah, cool as fuck. But now he's a total fucking mess. Yeah. But the thing is, you just I feel like where's this video by the way? Did you send it to me? Yeah, it's in the Discord. Guys, uh, why is the icon Brazzo? Like it's confusing. <laughs> <laughs> like at least make it. Like here's why I always get confused. Well, that's H, a, that's, H, that's you a recent development. How funny that sounds. Right? I mean, You're it's like, funny, but like I'm always confused on Discord because I'm an old fuck. You're not showing. Should that. I not show this? No. Oh. No, I, don't know. I don't know anything about Discord, but I feel like you shouldn't show it was, that. It, it, it was okay to show. I don't think it matters. <laughs> but like I'm old. Okay, you guys boomer. know I'm old boomer ass, and I always get confused on Discord. So the one with okay, all boomer. of our. Members hey, is has a logo of the podcast, which is what I would expect right. to click. 
And then, but the one for us has just a picture of Brazzo's fat, <laughs> stupid fucking face. <laughs> so that's why I, because I'm always live and I don't know what the fuck's going on. I'm, okay, it's Brazzo's face. Okay, boomer. I, I'm being gazed at. Okay, boomer. <laughs> So I think these people just forget how to talk like normal people. Cause I feel like they they uh, they kind of forget that they're normal people. Like you're not fooling anyone with your memoir, bro. You're just this is the thing. You're it, literally just, an actor. Your manager just came to you and was like, "Hey, we got a book deal. You want to do a book deal?" They're like, "Dude, no. This is exactly. Like, I'll tell okay, you exactly what happened." Memoir. They go, they go, Lenny. That's his name, right? Lenny, you're leaving money on the table, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> We can make two, three million bucks. You'll get a ghostwriter. You won't even have to do anything. Mm -hmm. Spend an afternoon telling this ghostwriter your stories. He'll write the whole mm -hmm. book. Two, three million bucks. And then they're that's like, it. Oh, and and we got the perfect way for you to sell the book. There's this new service where you give people your phone. Call me. And then you get their data, and then you sell them. Let me give you my number. Stay in touch. And he's like, I'd like to be in touch with you. Yeah. Let's continue to let love rule. Let's continue to let love rule. But you know what? I feel like, um, yeah, I don't know. People, it really goes to people's heads, and they forget how to talk like normal human beings. But I, I, I find the whole fetishing of actors funny because, like, being a good actor literally says nothing about you as a human being. Well, that's the same about any celebrity. Like, being a good singer well, at least, doesn't say uh, anything about you as a person. Uh... Right. Well, it says a lot more because it's like your music and you're writing words and um, emotions and expressions and stuff. I guess if you wrote it. But. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, of, of all the all the performing arts, people fetishize them like gods and they're just dipshits most of the time. I feel <laughs> like this social media is really this is, wait, showing whoa. that because now you hear everyone's yeah. thoughts. and it, Yeah, and we like, don't. You didn't hear like Jimmy, Jimi Hendrix tweet what he thought about Trump oh, or God. you know, whatever. Oh my god. Can you imagine Jimi <laughs> Hendrix? Let love rule. Hey everybody. Yeah, you don't want that. Is this hey, part of his Instagram video, the countdown? Like, do you see what a big he thinks this is so important, his first ever Instagram post. Hi. Oh, it was. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Okay, what? He had a countdown. This was part of his Instagram <laughs> post. First ever Instagram post. He like really on a movie set, right? He really thinks it's that important. <laughs> Crazy. Get some howdies going. Get some howdies. Hi. Is it a dungeon or what? Hello. Hello too. Looks like a vampire. <laughs> the thing, yeah, I feel like Johnny Depp really lost it when he started to really think he was Captain Jack. Yeah. <laughs> because like he started he started becoming more and more Captain Jack esque. And he started doing other movies and he was still Captain Jack. Yeah. Mm hmm Like I remember he was in Tonto, the fucking what was it uh, oh, that he played like Lone an Ranger. Indian? Lone oh, we're Ranger. about Lone Ranger. Yeah, he was Captain Jack in that film. <laughs> it was so yeah. stupid. <laughs> it's like he just is Captain Jack now. <laughs> he has a big Captain Jack tattoo on his arm. Oh, he does? Yeah, it wasn't just for the movie. That's he kept you. It. You're ca you don't need a tattoo of you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, wait, so Instagram highlights, is that going to go to festivals or yeah, where, where is yeah. it going to play? <laughs> are we up for awards? <laughs> you know what gets me is how many candles are in the shot. Um, <laughs> how many do you count? Oh, wow, I didn't see these ones on the table. <laughs> the ones behind him? Yeah. <laughs> Bro, what are you doing? Where is this? This is Instagram, motherfucker. This is not the point. Like, he's totally missing the point of Instagram, right? <laughs> This is my first experience within the world of social media. I've never done any of this before. I'm sure this was the last, too. Uh... <laughs> I don't think I've really ever felt any particular reason to until now. Um, hmm. Yeah. Dude, what is wrong with you, Doug? <laughs> well, who told you this was a good idea? Just get the phone, put it in your face. People would be so stoked if he just took the phone and was like, Hey guys, I'm on Instagram. Yeah. See you tomorrow. And people would be like, Yeah, he gets it. Hey guys. <laughs> this is my first experience. <laughs> it's the time to open up a dialogue 
as the. Uh, it's no, always the same, isn't that? It's, there. No it's always the same with Garth. With Ke it's not a dialogue. That's the point. It's not a dialogue. You just say shit, and people li watch you Everyone. say shit. It's not a dialogue, and don't pretend it's a dialogue. Peace. <laughs> Fuck. Enemy has already caused miserable tragedies and enormous damage to people's lives. Um, people are ill. What is he talking about? I don't care. How about the situation with him and Amber Heard? Fighting for breath. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Dying at frighteningly high rates. Bro, like why, Amber why, are you, why are you in a dungeon <laughs> talking about this shit? To provide for their children and their families like as a result of this. It does seem like at the end of this, he'll just climb into a coffin. He's like, all right, good night. Um, <laughs> some have lost. Their job. I can't follow him. It's I just can. it's They're the boring. ramblings of a moron. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's cool too. We cannot <laughs> unpopular. I mean, he used to be super cool, but now he's just kind of burned out and weird. Because you have to age gracefully. You can't be the same cool guy you were when you were eighteen. You have to age gracefully. Right. You can't, that's the problem with all these rock and rollers. I feel like especially with the the good looker guys because they're just so stuck in how good their life when they were 20. Right, and they're look but, but like you can look good, you just you have to age yeah. out. You can look great, you yeah, know. Yeah, definitely. You can still get that A5. <laughs> Probably get more of it. <laughs> A5 wagyu beef. <laughs> what is A5? Oh. It's the highest tier of Wagyu beef from Japan. It's from like perfect marbling. A1 to A5? Yeah. Are you making that up? I'm not, Elo. How dare you? I'm going to buy some soon. You know, Costco sells it. It's like, two, it's like $150 a pound. Wow. OBB. The thing is with like Leo and like Johnny, they've been famous. I'm the meat chef. So long. They've been, longer, they've been famous longer than they haven't been since they were like kids. So they don't know how to be normal, I feel like. Well, that's true. Mm. Mm. I feel like there's got to be some other other famous people that are normal. Well, no, I mean, I get it. You've been famous that long. They're basically child actors. Yeah, and then, and then they've been fucking like crazy, making tons of money. You know, I get it, but still. These guys need someone in their life to be like, dude, this is not Instagram, bro. This is like fucking... This shouldn't exist. <laughs> this is nothing. There's always something to do. Always. Our heroes, Jeff Beck. Like what? The goddamn eight minutes of rambling. <laughs> it's unwatchable. I hate it. Speaking of celebrities, we've got a fun little... Everyone. Everyone. <laughs> <laughs> we've got a fun um, segment. Oh, let's take a call first. Ooh. We got calls lined okay. up. After the call, we've got celebrity songs. Some really unknown gems and really bad ones. Really? That we're going to rank. <laughs> um, Joe Pesci has one where he says, Eat my ass. <laughs> he says, Eat my ass out. <laughs> Treat all your broads like trash. <laughs> I, swear, I swear that's what he says. Here, I'll play for you real fast. Joe Pesci, wise guy. Appar apparently, he tried to scrub the internet of this, right? Yeah, yeah. We tried to. That's why this is like ten pixels. This video. It's... Yeah, it is embarrassing, but hey, it's man. got like. Look how many t uh, watermarks there are. <laughs> <laughs> we should add one, yo. We should add one and upload it. <laughs> hey, it's your boy Joe Pesci in the house. It's a bitch, daddy, get you. Hey, how you doing? How you doing? It's a bitch that'll get you. Oh. It's a bitch that'll get you. Hey, hey, beat out my ass. Eat out her <laughs> ass. Like <trash>. What? <laughs> it's a bitch that'll get you. This is the worst thing ever. This is worse than it's Johnny Depp's dungeon. Hey, hey, beat out my ass. Treat Ate out my ass. Treat her like trash. <laughs> <laughs> Actually isolated that line. So. I'll play it. Ate out my ass. Ate out my ass. I don't hear anything else. Ate out my ass. <laughs> Ate out my ass. Out my ass. Hey, when you slow it down, it sounds even more like you're saying it. Let me hear it. Ate out my ass. 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 Ate out my
Get it out my ass. Get out my ass. <laughs> But wow. that's what Johnny thought. Anyway, we'll watch this, but let's take a call. Um, there's someone in Hebrew writing that he has a big problem after his fiance lo left him and he would like advice. Okay. He's been listening to us for three years or watching, sorry. I like listening. to give advice. And he would, uh, yeah. Bring him on. I don't know how. Contact uh, uh, Zach uh, on Discord. DM me on Discord. Yeah, it's this guy that's typing in Hebrew. His, yeah. Leon. Is his question? Is this question going to be in Hebrew? I mean, Hopefully I can, not. I can't translate. <laughs> yeah, no, no, that's not going to work. Um, but until then, let's get gay vo See, this one's tough, you guys. I don't know. <laughs> this girl, she loves the smell and touch of her period blood so much that she uses <laughs> special underwear called Thinks. What? That has a pad built into it, and you're supposed to just rinse it and wring it out. So she does this so she can save it all of her period blood, and so she puts it in her faucet. What? She also has a uh, it's called end endotriciosis, which makes her periods even heavier and longer. Oh God, what a nightmare! She wants to share. <laughs> I feel like she just shared. <laughs> You guys want to hear that? I, I mean, feel like can. it might be too I, gross. I hate, I hate People are saying, no. <laughs> yeah, I don't know that yeah, I, 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 I mean, I, I just heard the story, I yeah. feel like, from you. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I heard that. I read that. And I was like, guys, this is too gross. But then we had this whole philosophical debate. Well, well, isn't that the whole point? But I was like, well, yes and no. <laughs> you know? Like, I don't want it to be so gross that everyone's like, Out. nope, 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 nope. Um, Everyone's screaming no. So, so what kind of show is it when you're literally <laughs> sh doing no, something that literally not, no. nobody? I mean, buy, I don't no. think we're in, we're like period shaming. I don't think that's an issue because you're saying like, what are you saying that you guys had a debate about what? No, if it was too gross to put on the show. Well, because when we yeah, talked about it last night, gross. Ethan was too like, it was too gross, and I was like, well, this is. I mean. We're doing After Dark. It's supposed to be oh, the like, kind of gross. I, yeah, yeah. It's supposed I thought you yeah. meant something yeah. else. No, 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 no. Um, yeah, but... Eh. So here's another one. Did I mean, we... the chat is, is hard, V. Yeah, I haven't yeah, seen yeah. a single person. Yeah, everyone's ready to peace Discord out. is saying yes, though. So no, okay. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. Wow. Okay. I feel like we've talked about period blood enough, and <laughs> some girls like it, some don't. It's crazy. Some I, girls like I it. I really hate it. Freaking hate it. Is there any weird smells you like, though? Because, like... Mm. You deny you deny even ever like f smelling your own. F well, you say you smell your own farts, but I didn't say I I don't enjoy it. You don't enjoy it. No, not even like I don't believe you do. You do. I don't you know like about it. Me. How dare you? <laughs> we had a whole debate about it. On yeah, the show. we already talked. Yeah. About okay. <sighs> Next, do we have the guy who needs advice? If not, I've got uh, Rosie here. Not Ooh. yet. I can throw Rosie. Yeah, in let's right get now. Rosie in. Let me set it up. up. So Rosie has a dorm, an incident in her dorm that they call poop lasagna. It was so bad, the person in charge of the entire dorm had to send out emails telling us to stop. The issue was that... Wait, wait, wait. Don't explain it. <laughs> Why? I'm setting it up. But don't explain what it actually is. I know what poop lasagna is. It's a known phenomenon. <laughs> it's a known phenomenon. Well, what I know poop lasagna is as when you take a poop and then you wipe... And then, you di di and then you discover you have to poop more. So you poop on the toilet paper, and then you wipe again. You have a poop lasagna. Okay. Mm. <laughs> okay. So anyway, this kept happening. person would poop, 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 wipe, and the paper would clog the toilet. Then another person would come, try to flush. It wouldn't work, so they would poop on top of it, which I don't believe anyone would do. Unless there was literally no other toilet. Can you imagine shitting on top of, like... That mess of toilet paper and dump that you see sometimes in public stalls. That no. would I would never. I would never. I'd rather shit my pants. I'd rather shit on the floor next to the toilet. I would just yeah. I would just leave whatever I'm doing and just just exit on that day. Just it's not happening. <laughs> just go home. Just from the dorm. <laughs> You're out of state. You're out of. Travel back home. <laughs> First flight out of here. <laughs> Anyway, they would poop on it, cover it, and it was just apparent. See, I, I don't think, I don't believe her. <laughs> I'm going to call her out. She sent receipts, though. 
Like, apparently she has letters. It says, hello, residents. Um, there's been reports of excessive toilet paper and towels being thrown on the toilet. More specifically, an incident involving paper towels on the floor, stopping up the toilets with excess paper and overflowing, and then using paper at a rate of a whole roll a day, layering the paper and poop without flushing. In other words, putting some paper... I love how she clarifies. In other words, <laughs> putting some paper in the toilet, pooping on it, covering it with more paper, and then the person adds more paper and poops, doesn't flush, Oh, what? People were doing that on purpose? That's fucking Wait, on horrendous. purpose? Why? Like this, this email makes it sound like they were doing it as a gag. Ew. I can see some dorm fucking meatheads doing that <laughs> as a gag. And who? So then it was like unflushable. Who are you? Who is the gag? I don't know. It's just something dumb you think's funny. Like, I can see that. That makes more sense to me than when I first This thought. is sick. That's true. Uh, she she posted an Excel of the damages. Um, I don't know if you can read it. I'm trying to see if I can zoom in here. This I thought this was pretty funny. Like this is kind of a weak weak Everyone flex. Is saying bring her on. I'm trying. I'm waiting for you guys. Well, no, she's ready. I was. I will for bring you. her in. What the okay. hell? I'm sitting here. I'm trying to hold the show. I'm All waiting right, for her. Tell me she's in the room. Oh my god. She's on the call right now. <laughs> Rosie, what what's going on, dude? <laughs> so, Rosie, can you hear me? Yes, hello. Hi. Okay, so was this a gag? Like, tell me, was this a gag that people were, like, pooping on each other's poop? Or was it the <laughs> toilet clogged? Uh, so this resulted in the toilet being clogged. Also, Discord says Baba Booey. Um, <laughs> Baba Booey. No, so this was not a gag. <laughs> this was not a gag. Um <laughs> So this was the international theme dorm. So myself included, we all come from places where, you know, bidet is a thing. So even for me, I just did not know how to use paper. Mm. So indeed, like using words and words oh. of paper. So all the freaks, the normal. international freaks came together wow. and didn't know how to use the toilet. <laughs> I, that makes more sense. I, so wait, hold on. Rosie, where are you from? You're from, I think, Norway, I read. No, 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 Netherlands. Oh, Netherlands. No, nah, no. And um, and you were studying in in the United States at the time at at, at yes. where? Indiana University. Shout out. <laughs> so where you are from, every day is just normal. Everyone's got it. Mm hmm. Yeah. Um, um, my parents are originally Pakistani, so we have like a hose next to the toilet. Okay. Yeah. Or there's like those. a little separate bidet. So the concept uh, or you of use paper was just a totally unknown. That makes so, m way more sense. I've I I've seen <laughs> that hose like as a kid, and I've in mm -hmm. some places I feel like even in Israel there, and I never knew what you're supposed Terrifies to do with me, it. Terrifies me the hose. So, that's so <laughs> it's, funny. It's like, the temperature to pressure ratio. Oh. But I just feel like you splash ass water all over your hands. Uh, I mean, your hands getting cleaned as well. Yeah, but okay. Well, anyway, let's stick to the topic. I could, I could debate you on wiping sure. techniques all day. So, so you had a bunch of international s students in a mm -hmm. in a dorm room. Yes. And you guys were using too much toilet paper, is what it sounds like. A roll a day. A roll a day. Yeah. That doesn't seem like a lot. I mean, it depends how many people were there. No. Yeah. How many? So people? let's say there are twenty-five dorms, two people per room. Dude, that seems uh, so totally reasonable. <laughs> a roll a day. What's wrong with Wait, that? Wait, for the whole I mean, people? Yeah. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, hold That's on. Not let, enough. let me clarify. <laughs> let, let me clarify. Was there just one toilet for everybody? Three. Three for men, three for women on one floor. Okay. okay. And this was happening in the men's and the women's or just the men's? <laughs> yes. It was. Okay, so... This university had 13 dorms. Each dorm had multiple buildings. And they did a thing where they ranked each floor in all the dorms together for, like, sanitation. And the three floors in my dorm building came last against the entire dorms, which has to be around, like, 100 floors. And it was because of, like, one, people shat in the shower every single year that I was there. Oh, it's the and inner... Then also because... Oh. 
It was like our building specifically because we had people poop. If you look at the yeah. the cost, dude, I know like, what you're saying. I had why do people no, shit it's in the, the international tower. students because I had students. <laughs> I that also happened in my dorm room when I was a freshman. I remember because people would come from like Indonesia or somewhere where they just they don't even have like these <laughs> toilets and they they didn't know how to shit and they would just shit in the fucking shower and waffle stomp it, bro. <laughs> That's what happened. It got waffle stomped, and if you look at the bill, it clearly says had to dig it out. Was stomped oh in. God. Oh, I feel so bad for them now. I, now it all makes sense, and I feel so bad. <laughs> we could smell it. The hallway was quite vile. <laughs> so wait. So when you needed to go to the bathroom, what would you do? Did you ever poop on top? Did you ever contribute to the poop lasagna? <laughs> Maybe, yes. So this wow. is a story in itself. So, okay, so um, since you cancel out periods, uh, I was on my period, and, you know, it gives you period poops. Which whoa, is whoa, 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 stop the clock. What's a period poop? I've never heard of that. Do you know it's what that is? Because you're... I'm not sure. It's when your body, your body is cramping to get the blood out and the lining out, but it's also pushed against your colon. So it gives you, like diarrhea as well because oh. not only is the blood and the pot coming out so is the poop i didn't know that delightful <laughs> yeah i just Thank love you. being on period it's just like oh you don't get best week but how come life. you don't get period poops you you don't have diarrhea on your period i mean i well i i thought it only depends on what i eat because it's not always you never linked the two no i didn't Interesting. link the two but who knows maybe i'm different girls get way unaware okay well at, at any rate you had a period poop <laughs> So I was on my period. I took coffee before a two-hour session, and by the end of the session, I was dying. So I just ran home, and of course, the only stall available has been to have the one with the lasagna in it. Oh, and I'm dying. I don't have a choice. So oh, I just my go God. in. And I mean, first yeah! of all, the. the <laughs> I mean, it's at least like five, it's the end of the day. So, I mean, if I flush, it's going to overflow. So, you know, I just put a little bit of paper down to oh, prevent a splash. You'd like, contributed like to the poop lasagna, bro. <laughs> like diarrhea for 20 minutes. And oh, then here's the worst part. Dude. I don't know how to use paper. So it's just like... Like, I don't feel clean. So it's like, okay, yeah. I just got to keep on wiping. Yep. Wiping drop, wiping drop. Feeling. Yeah. And then the worst part is, the worst part is, like, I could feel, like, the wet, like, the lasagna on my butt. Ah! Oh, boy. <laughs> like, and, and I had to leave it there and just shower because if I flushed, everything just won't move. It just physically does not move. Yeah, you wouldn't, you couldn't even flush. It would just make matters worse. <laughs> you know, um, <laughs> you know, you know, it's funny is the people in the stall... <laughs> The the two other stalls knew you were pooping mm -hmm. on the on exactly. the poop lasagna because they they probably checked that stall and were like oh I'm not going in there but then you went in there yes and the thing is it happened on a daily basis wow so what were you supposed to do I mean were there right. other toilets to was, use like, yeah I would just probably go to a different dorm was that an option no because you only had access to your own building i mean you could go to another floor but it was happening on all three so, floors so why was wow. your why was your like why was this person in charge giving you guys shit over 34 dollars for extra toilet paper i mean what the fuck is this they got mad at us i mean we shot in the sh if you look at the bill we shot in the shower everyone had to pay for these bills by the way even though wow. oh, they charged you it. yeah not just me everyone on the floor oh my uh, god so, so here's that here's final bill Wait, that's for every single individual? It was divided up by 50 oh, so or however. Oh, that's one. very... Okay. Yeah. Someone peed on but three couches? Yeah, I wanted to read that one. It says, <laughs> someone peed on three couches and surrounding area around couches and vomit in the hallway. <laughs> <laughs> it's college, bro. Oh, my God. Good times. Um, and I then, can't imagine like the that. American college experience. I have in Israel, it's different. It's not it, like that. I remember that shit was a little extra weird in the international one because of situations like she like I remember <laughs> there was rumors about the international one like that people were pooping in buckets and that um, and I it mean, wasn't their fault they just I didn't know any better you know what I mean yeah and and people would shave their pubes on the toilet seats and leave it there oh, oh my god, god. that's 
What? That one's hard to justify. Why not do that? You know, if if there, I might shit in the shower. Fuck it. If I was in that situation, <laughs> I can't imagine forcing it down the drain with my feet, though. But regardless, but Rosie. Is, go ahead. <laughs> no, I was just going to say it became the legacy of Foster Shade Floor 2 because I lived there for three, four years, and it happened every single year. Man. The here, in the shower. here we have an itemized bill. Vomit cleanup, <laughs> south <laughs> hallway. Vomit cleanup in sinks, two and three. You know, I, I would think that a cleaning service would be included in the price of admission, no? Um, yes. We had a custodian who was there every day, but for this, they brought in the big boys. Oh, the hazmats and all that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like I'm not joking. <laughs> That's a pretty reasonable price then. I feel like uh, cleaning up feces and mint shower, 45 bucks. Are you kidding me? I wouldn't clean up feces for 45 bucks. You have to, even at my worst, you'd have to pay me a lot more than that. Although, how do you clean up feces in the shower? You just turn the water on. <laughs> no, it was waffle well, stomped. <laughs> depends. Um, oh. Yeah, if it's been stomped. Ethan, I just want to point out, uh, you see two bills for the poop in the shower. We were only aware of one poop in the shower until we got the bill. Out. Yeah, and it turns out that the other person did it and just didn't get caught. Cleaned out dried out. feces. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, hang on. Dried feces smashed into shower drain. Had to dig it out. What does that mean? <laughs> How do you have dried feces in a shower drain? Um, I think that one happened over like the Christ the break. Oh no! Like the one week it, break we had. That's why nobody knew about it. Wow! When it we came back, it's just in the shower. Oh, that's crazy, dude! What a legacy! This is sick. <laughs> what a legacy! Well, you know what? College is great, and uh, and I share that that I have similar experiences. Oh, this is fantastic that you have it documented so well. Welcome. Thank yeah, you for thank sharing, you. Rosie, and and I'm glad you had a good time in America, and we represented well. <laughs> Do you Love have it. a functioning um, also, toilet now? Do you feel? Uh, yeah, I mean, I wipe my butt with my hand, and I have a little bucket. Like a little measuring jar that you fill with water, and then it's called a lota in Pakistan and in India. You just pour a little bit, and then you wipe with your left hand. Just yeah, straight raw. That, that's just what, straight raw yeah, hand. Last, we the had last guy to told us, yeah. yeah, and he thought that was the most clean way. You feel like it's, it's clean. Cleaner. You feel like your hand. Do not like have to bleach your hand. Like literally. Like how do you feel? Like once you've touched shit. Because once I touch shit, it happens on accident occasionally when I'm wiping. It feels like you know. Armageddon. I mean, it feels really bad. So, so how I do you? I won't lie. Sometimes after washing my hand, it still smells like poop. So I have to like use hand sanitizer to like get it the smell so out. So doesn't that, doesn't that tell you that maybe there's a better way? What a dry paper towel. Well, no, a no. bidet or or. Yeah, I thought you were about the bidet. Yeah, bidet. Why are we putting our hand in there? I mean, the bidet is basically uh, just water without the hand. Or do you not have the option of a bidet? Uh, I mean, I, I, I culture. I, like you my like first it. few years were in Pakistan, and yeah, I like it. I mean, you can I ask get you a question? And man, crannies. When you're kinky in the bedroom, and what, like, I know it's like, <laughs> what is it? Like, there's the uh, the right hand for eating, the left hand for wiping, right? Yes. So, is there any kind of like kinks with the left hand in the bath in the bedroom because it's like the dirty hand? <laughs> Um, like if you put I your left stopped. fingers in the mouth or something. <laughs> oh, I'd be grossed out. Really? That's the white hand. Uh, yeah, I was just curious because it's like. Never I don't know. Yeah. Okay. All righty. Well. Any questions? So if you shake hands, you only use the right hand. I mean, I'm personally not weird about this, but some people like do are like tabooed about it. Like, oh, eat with your right hand. Come on. Hmm. I I mean I get that if I touch if I mean look. If I was putting my left hand up my ass, I'd probably eat with my right hand. I'm <laughs> <laughs> just saying. But, it, like, I mean, it works for you, and you seem really happy and well-adjusted, so keep Thank doing you. your thing, man. Yeah. Thank you. I mean, if you go out and play in mud, do you just use a paper towel, or do you take a shower? Right. Well, you've, you've, been, through, you've yeah. been through worse, it sounds like. <laughs> 
Yeah, the lasagna touched my butt. Yeah, yeah, that's <laughs> nothing will ever compete with that experience. <laughs> all right, Rosie, stay and, well and, and uh, keep that guys. keep that left hand clean. All right. Thank you, Rosie. Sure. Um, I really quickly recommend the film Toilet Man. It's a Bollywood film. Just watch it. Okay, hey, Toilet Man. Toilet Man. Toilet Man. I'm on it. We're interested. I'm over here about you, Ethan. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Rosie. All right, bye, Rosie. Bye. Bye. Oh, that was more interesting than I expected. And to be totally She turned honest. it around. I mean, you were totally skeptical that story was even real. Yeah, she convinced <laughs> me when I found out it was in the um the international door. Because I, I had the same exact thing, I swear to God. It was it was it was uh, chaos there. You know. Fuck, that was gross. <laughs> but that's that's the beauty of college life that people don't think about. But that shit happens in every college, everywhere, in every dorm. Just shit like that. You know, the first time I ever saw period blood in a toilet, I had a co-ed bathroom in, in college. Oh, interesting. So, and well. girls would leave period blood in the toilet, and I had never seen anything like that before, and I was just like... Why? Why not just flush? I think maybe what happens is that they flush, but it doesn't go down. Because oh, it's like, yeah. you can tell it's like super heavy. Yeah. And so it like settles on the bottom of the toilet yeah. and I was just like, oh my god. I mean, it's just it's shocking. It's not I'm not like I'm not trying to be judgmental. It's just I never seen that before and I'm in a public restroom and it was just like, oh god, it was traumatic. Yeah. <laughs> but it's weird to like shower next to women. I mean, you had like a stall. They were in like stalls with a curtain. Super weird. So what do you do when you get out? You just wear a towel. And people go to their room to get dressed? Or you stay in the shower. There's like a bench. I see. Yeah. Crazy. Yeah, it was pretty pretty wild times. <sighs> okay. What were we talking about? Mm. What were we talking about? Uh, you, oh, we were going to do the, the, the celebrity... Um, you want me to read off a couple of Super Chats real quick? Yeah, I'm going to pee. Go for it. Or right, I don't know if I want to dip out on the Super Chats. I can hear them. I can hear him from the bathroom. Go ahead. Uh, okay, let's see. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm trying to see where you last left off here. Um, mm. uh, do we read Jetpack Hero? Hey guys, I've been a huge fan since forever. You guys helped me through a recent breakup. I love you guys. Just became a member. And I'm wearing my Teddy Fresh sweatshirt right now. Very Aww. cool. Thank you. Sorry about your breakup. I'm glad we could uh, get you through that. Uh, Oh, this was the Jeff Dunham thing. We already asked about that. Shout out to AI Ian, my true love. Shout out. <laughs> you guys uh, would love to share with you guys how my family infected over 40 people with COVID-19. <laughs> I mean, if you're in the Discord, hit up Yeah, Zach. that uh, does sound interesting. Uh, let's see. Uh, yo, I have a story to make Ethan laugh. I think it's a good one if I can be the contestant today. Jake, hit up Zach if you're in the Discord. Hit um, me up. Hit him up. Uh, let's see. I saw some really big ones. I want to make sure I get to them. Uh, $30 one message retracted. Well, thank you, Nicole. Uh, <laughs> I don't know why you retracted your message, but thank you for $30. Uh, Devin, can I get a shout out for myself? I love you guys so much. And these podcasts make my day and give me something to look forward to. Well, shout out Devin. Shout out to yourself. Zach, I absolutely love your song covers on Instagram. Oh, I wish yeah. I could save them into a playlist and listen wow. since we've got the same I'm music taste. You should, uh, you should like create a YouTube channel and throw them up on there, Zach. Yeah, for sure. So that Appreciate it. Ian's flow. <laughs> uh, somebody says, uh, Ethan, consider the uh, keto diet. Well, Zach's already advocated heavily for that. I don't think it's going to happen. I like the diet, yeah. on. I just, honestly, I, I, I like the diet. I feel healthy. I just... I just got to hold it for, I mean, it's only been a week, right? I just got to hold it. I feel better on it. You know, I just got to hold it. Yep. Oh, by the way, I meant to post this. Uh, uh, the last person who worked on AI Ian, whose name I couldn't remember, is Brooke. And uh, I, if you're in the uh, chat right now, I'm going to spam all three, both Justin, Ben, and Brooke's Instagram handles. Go check them out. Really talented people. Um, so I yeah, have a question. Um, we're doing the celebrity uh, songs. We're going to rank them. Do we have some kind of tier list set up, or are we just going to do this free ball? I think we got to just free ball it. So let me open like a um, Photoshop document, and I can just like 
This is so stupid. There's got to be a better way. Um. Beat out my ass. <laughs> <laughs> you just do it in a text document, honestly. I mean, just write them. Yeah, that's a, that's from, a, from, from best to worst. Send in. That'll be yeah. easy. Yeah, yeah. Let's do, thank you, Ela. All right, so Ela, we're going to be doing celebrity uh, songs, and unfortunately, we're going to be doing a tier list in a Word doc. <laughs> Hell yeah! Epic. So we have Joe Pesci, or we have Eddie Murphy first. Eddie Murphy. You know, you know Eddie Murphy. Why is it so small? My God. It's like the, here, let me open a, a fucking Google Drive doc. There you go. There you go. Eddie Murphy is like such a talent when it comes to um, impressions and singing. He has a beautiful voice, but he keeps trying to make music and it's always just horrible. <laughs> Zach um, disagrees with that. Oh, Zach, give me a fucking break. You Excuse really? me? Oh my God, you really have a problem. You like everything. <laughs> it, that that song is the greatest fucking song ever. Uh, it is Zach, the how am I jam. supposed to feel as you're like you like me, you're a fan and all that, right? Like that's how you that's why you work for us. How am I supposed to take that when you like all the shit you like? I like a lot of things, but there are things that I do dislike that would I strongly except anything dislike. but Mike on impulsive is yeah, the only thing you dislike. Shorts. <laughs> yeah, that he dislike. And birds. All right, all right so let's watch uh, Eddie Murphy party. All the time. N note from Zach. This is my favorite song of all time. No, it's not. Yeah, along with every other song you've heard. Oh, wow. It has a lot of views. I thought you were saying, wait, damn. 50 million. Anyway, that's it. Uh, uh, you know. It's not that bad. It's not that bad, actually. Yeah. It doesn't even deserve It shouldn't yeah, even be on the list. Eddie, I love you. Yeah. Joe Pesci, now we're talking. Now we're getting into music that shouldn't exist. Joe Pesci. You know, it's, it's an interesting phenomenon. There's so many celebrities. I, I, dis I uncluded, discluded a lot of stuff that I thought wasn't bad enough to be on the list. But there's so many celebrities with songs. Gwyneth Paltrow has a song. Hmm. Um, what's her name? The fucking, the girl. Uh, Scarlett Johansson. <laughs> Scarlett Johansson has a song. Really? Yeah. I mean, there's, like, it's, it's an it's a epidemic. Steven Seagal. Steven Next Seagal book. has a song for Christ's sake. Have a thing. Idea or someone else's idea? I think it's his idea. We did a little research. Apparently, Joe Pesci uh, wanted to be a musician, um, and his father was the one that pushed him into musician. acting instead. Yes, he. he there was no was... semblance of musical talent. <laughs> well, that, was his, uh, that was apparently his original dream, and so once he became a very successful actor, he, um, you know, leveraged that into. Uh, Releasing some albums. This song is actually off of his second album. What? Yep. What? <laughs> well, so far for me, that one is number one. Number one. Bang, one of right? one. One of one. Of one. <laughs> but how do you top that? Yeah. I feel like we started with the best. Eat out her ass. Treat her like <laughs> trash. It's the bitches that'll get you. What? He's kind of ahead of the time. Like, <laughs> Eat out my ass. Eat out my ass. <laughs> Um, okay, well, Vin Diesel we watched with Tom and Christina, but... Um, Nobody's seen that yet. That's, yeah, we should watch oh, it again. Oh, we haven't, yeah, okay, great. Oh, well, this is exciting then, because... Yeah. Wait, I want the, I don't want this, I want the, um, the big premiere. <laughs> you want it on John yeah. Clark's show? So Vin Diesel, friend of the show, obviously, put out a fucking song. <laughs> put out a song, Vin Diesel, our Vin Diesel, <laughs> on the Kelly, Kelly Clarkson Don't show. Me, baby. And obviously, because of the pandemic, they weren't uh, able to have a live audience, and so they zipped everybody in on these little screens. New Nerf Ultra 5. Blast up to 120 feet with a four dart. Yo, who's playing commercials? What the fuck is going what on? What's going on? That's the second time that's happened. You guys. All right. Who's responsible for the Nerf Blast that's up. commercial? That's up. That's me. That's me. That's me. You I'm sorry. Shit. Uh, All right. AB, defense, no more Nerf commercials. Doing a show. <laughs> one more defense, I was watching I something you for Ela. I was watching something for Ela. I'm gonna. Eat, I'm, man. Yeah. Nerf blast. <laughs> We're just starting to like you, kid. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Man, I'd love to be in that audience, though. Like, what an opportunity, you know? Front row seat. Mm. 
Why are they just... Yeah, I mean, it's not as bad as Joe Pesci, but... <laughs> no, it's not, unfortunately. <laughs> but it is pretty embarrassing for our boy, uh, Vin, who, by the way, has a flawless, uh, so far reputation. Um... When did this turn into beautiful world? <laughs> did I close my document? Did I really do that? God, I'm such a... I'm such a moron. <laughs> Easy. Easy. No, you're not, man. Accidents happen. Shit happens. No, but no, but sir, I do it every fucking time. Like, it's crazy how often I do this shit. Okay, boomer. Okay, boomer. So what? I gotta go open a new document. Does anyone give a fuck? What do we need to write it down for? What am I fucking goldfish? I can't remember. I don't think we really care about. We can kind of remember least. here. I'll I'll just I'll write it down. <sighs> over here. I am such a. F all right, all right. I'm just kidding. <laughs> it's not that serious. I feel like um, the tier list gets a little tedious. Like, I'm kind of... Yeah. All right, so we got... But, yeah, I mean, look, Joe Pesci is the worst. Yeah. Okay, here's David Hasselhoff in 1989 in Germany. Klaus Peter Siegloch, is he da? This is so good. Ja, ist David Hasselhoff, ist der. Dude, I, I love this shit. I don't know if you know this meme, but David Hasselhoff has a music career, and in the United States, nobody gave a fuck, but in Germany, everybody loved him. Weirdest oh, thing. I think you told me about it. It's so weird. Huge in Germany. Huge, huge in Germany. Do you remember Norm used to, <laughs> every single, when he was on SNL and he was the host of Weekend Update? Mm -hmm. Every single episode, he would make a joke about David Hasselhoff being super popular in Germany. <laughs> he like, would always really? make a point of bringing it up. No that's matter what funny. the story was, he would find a way to bring up the fact that David Hasselhoff so is huge Oh, that's in fantastic. Why is that? Look at that piano. Freiheit, well, look how happy he is. If it's a lead this year, 1989, then it's from David Hasselhoff looking This is David Hasselhoff. Theater. David, why did you want to come exactly here to the Brandenburg Gate? One year ago, we did Looking for Freedom. And it was a dream. Ah, er hat gesagt, also der größte Eindruck hier war es vor einem halben Jahr hier in Berlin gewesen. And now <laughs> this is more uh, meme worthy than anything. Okay. Just making sure. Wow. Just doing a vibe check on you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can't handle this yeah. much, but, but again, I mean, you can't beat Joe Pesci. No. I Eat just him. knew it. I knew that we started with the best as soon as Okay, we well, hold on. William Shatner made a whole album of what this here. He made a whole fucking album. Is and let me remind you, Ela, that this is not a joke. This Photoshop? Uh, is it, was this the real cover? I think so. <laughs> yeah, that's made... the real album cover. Yeah. Wow. It, that's amazing. <laughs> so, so... This is real. I guess he did a whole album covering um, David Bowie. Is that what happened? It, it was just like an album of like rock's greatest songs. Oh, okay. So, sung by William Shatner. Right. Yeah. Whole album of this shit here. Let me go forward. Oh, my God. Wait, how does he... I know the Queen song. Who really matters. They're like, instead of listening to Freddie Mercury, maybe you just want to listen to some old fucking putty dude talk in a monotone voice over your favorite songs. <laughs> Nothing really matters. I feel like gotta go to the middle weird. section, I feel like, is going to be the best. Like see. the weird operatic part. Oh, oh, oh. But I imagine thinking this is better than the uh, original or as some added value <laughs> to it. Or just anything that anyone else would want to listen to except yourself. God, he must have been on drugs or something. Bye, everybody! That's fucking awesome. Someone said you guys have to listen to The Common People by William Shatner. Yeah, I feel like I want more. I feel like this one's too musical. Like, find me Major Tom. Well, his, yeah, no, his most famous one, I think, is Rocket Man. Yeah, I want Rocket yeah. Man. Send me that shit. Yeah. Come on, man. What a weird thing to do. A whole album, bro. They're saying Common People is the one we should check out. So let's check out Common People and Rocket Man. All right. And, like, the list of musicians that worked on this cover album is insane. Really? Like, creme de Goodbye, creme. everybody! <laughs> I love how genuine what? he is. But like, it just sounds like he's talking over, like, the karaoke version. But it... No, the music sounded good to me. 
Yeah, but it sounds like it's just there. Oh just yeah, yeah, yeah. It's uh, just the instrumental of yeah. the yeah. Okay, here we go. This is called "Common People" by William. Well, to be honest, I don't know the original, so so here, give me "Rocket Man." That song I know. I demand a uh, concierge service, Dan. <laughs> oh, this one's got a video. A lyricist whose string of hits, in collaboration with Elton John, has made him one of the world's most popular songwriters. Please welcome Bernie Taupin. I'd like to just see uh, William <laughs> Chat. I was like, the no, fuck? Oh, let me fast forward this shit. Yeah, eight at the sign. Yeah, it's nine. Pre okay, here we go. This is fucking serious, bro. She packed my bags. Last night, pre-flight, zero hour. People are laughing. And I'm going to be high. <laughs> Dude, how are people not laughing? As a kite by then. This shit is fucking insane. Oh the earth so much. How is this better? Man, is wife. this just like a performance art? Like, uh, not really. It's lonely. How oh, is it? How is it additive? On um, such a dying I think Elton John did a perfectly fine job enunciating the words. Touchdown. <laughs> Brings me back again to find I'm By the way, this website's called fuzzymemories.tv, which is exactly what this is, man. <laughs> it's perfect. I'm a rocket man. Uh, the top guy, comment is this. nobody plays the cigarette like William Shatner. <laughs> Fine. Burning out his fumes out here alone. I could I I'm at, I'm capped oh wait, there's a it's wild. Whoa, what happened? It's gonna be a long, long time. <laughs> Touch town, bring me around again and fire. Dude, this is not, not the this. man they think I am. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Oh my I'm god. A... That's hot. <laughs> I'm con. Dude, I just Running can't deal with this. Yeah. I could watch this all day, but I mean, the fact that this exists in front of a live audience. That's right. I gotta hear how this guy introduced him. Due to the interest in the meaning of the song, now in 1978 at the Science Fiction Film Awards, I'm truly proud once again to present My Rocket Man as interpreted by our host, William Shatner. Thank you. Wow, dude. I don't know how people didn't laugh in his fucking face. <laughs> oh, that's hot. Oh, that's hot. Well, how does Shatner rank with... I mean, nobody eats eat my ass. Number two? Yeah, he's number two, for sure. <laughs> Real quick, are you guys seeing all this about uh, James Charles' lie detector test video? No. Why? Is it good? Should I watch it? James Charles took a lie detector test, and one of the questions was, did you actually copy Teddy Fresh? He said no, and the guy said he wasn't lying. Oh. Well, so what? <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, <laughs> I'm just telling you what I'm seeing. Wait, where is, it, where is this video? James what? Charles' lie detector. It's, it's, it's in the Discord. I put uh, Ian sent a little bit. Here it is. Did you ever have a thing with Noah Beck? Did you actually steal these designs from Teddy Fresh? Jeans, are you subscribed to anybody on OnlyFans? Are you actually a virgin? Did you ever get more cosmetic surgery? Well, this is just the intro. Ooh. Oh, it's on his channel. Hi, sisters. So wait, this is his. It's on his channel. This is his way of addressing it. Just being yeah, like, that's all he said. Hey, hey, dude, this is proof. I mean, I, first of all, I, I don't ever suspect that he did steal it. I think someone on his team did. It doesn't matter, James. It's still your product. It doesn't matter if you Oh, did you timestamp me? Know. Okay, cool. I'm not going to fucking... I'm not going to watch this video. Hi, sisters. Thank Jeez, you, Dirk. I thought he would have actually at Hi, least sisters. just gave us a shout-out and be nice about it. Let's see. The gals want to know, did you actually steal these designs from Teddy Fresh? No. True. Oh. That guy's a paid oh, wow. actor. Okay. Paid actor. All right. James. Paid actor. You're off the hook. <laughs> that settles it. They're liars. Everybody. Did you All charges dropped. 
have a thing with Noah back. No, I wish. <laughs> True. That guy's a fucking paid actor. This guy's a stooge, bro. It's on James Charles' channel. This guy's a fucking from an infomercial for diabetes medicine. I'm not calling him fat. I'm just saying he looks like a paid actor. And a, and a, and a bad one at that. By the way, lie detectors are pseudoscience. I never accused him personally of stealing. I think his design team did. And uh, all files are being dropped now, though, because okay. have, we have conclusive James proof. Yes. Should I, start? I can't believe it. Wow. I mean, <laughs> seriously? No, I'm I'm That's all you're going to say. Okay. All right. Someone said in the comments, is this guy, <laughs> this guy's the same lie detector guy that's on everyone's They're YouTube. liars. They're full of shit. <laughs> Wait, what'd you say, what? B? I said, someone in the comments said, this is the same guy that's on everyone's channel as the, as the lie detector guy. Oh, he, this is the guy? That's what, that's what someone in the comments said, yeah. What can I ask him? Wasn't he in Shane's video, too? Is that the same guy? Maybe. Dude, you guys know lie detectors are like the biggest pseudoscience bullshit ever. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's not evidence to anything. It's, it's not even allowed in court. Yeah, it's not even allowed in court. And you, all you have to do is squeeze your butthole to fake an answer because it <laughs> fucks up your, your uh, blood pressure. Yeah. Is that real? Yeah. Oh, wow. You literally just squeeze your <laughs> asshole and it will fuck up every answer. All right, good to know. Because it increases your blood pressure. <laughs> But I love that he thinks that if he personally didn't know about the hoodie, then it's fine. It's like, no, you run a company. Your employees maybe stole the design and you didn't know, but it's still your product. I'm still going to talk to you. I'm not going to go talk to one of your employees. Yeah, so if he had said, for example, I, and I'm at, this is open-ended, but if he had come back to you and said, okay, we looked into it. This designer on our team, apparently, he did steal it from you guys. We've let him go. Yeah, we'll that's no none be... of my business. I don't care what you do with your team. No, but like, yeah, would that have been like an acceptable response? Of course response? not. Of course no, not. that's your business. Yeah, of course not. However you run your company is none of my business. By the way, you think if he really said yes and it went off, he would keep it in the video? It's his video <laughs> in his house on his channel. <laughs> he, you know Hi, what I mean? sisters. Whatever. I mean, yeah, I don't care. But the, right. but like the, the fact that he's gonna parade this around, could you know that like, he put it's it up just, front? I just, this is the Get dumbest it. shit. I thought he would have done. Like I thought he would at least. I thought because I saw people say that he mentioned uh, Teddy Fresh, mm -hmm. so I thought maybe he would have said like, "Hey, you know, this came up." No, he, he. Little shout out for Teddy Fresh. We didn't mean to steal the design. I thought it was gonna be something. like Something that. like amicable would yeah. be like, okay, cool. The gals want to know, did you actually steal these designs from Teddy Fresh? No. Take 20. <laughs> the first 19 came out negative. That's true. He's like, that's, well, that's true. true. He goes, no, 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 no. See, this is how I know this guy's a quack. You say, it's not that's true. It's like, um, no, there's no... Right. Receptive. No yeah, there's, there's no receptive of uh, perceived lie or some shit. Yeah. He's like, I confirm, I confirm that he didn't steal from Teddy Fresh. Fucking quack ass bitch. <laughs> the fact of the matter is, you approached him before it was even released. I mean, and he admitted to it, and then he still, you know, he Dude, still came out. When I hit him in the DMs, he responded so fucking fast. Yeah, right. He immediately responded like he was expecting it to come. Like a whole paragraph. I was like, hey, dude. Uh, you know, whatever, whatever. And then immediately it was like, boom! I had this shit prepared by my lawyer. <laughs> I swear to God. James... I have beef with James Charles now. Um, and you do not want me as an enemy. Hi, sisters! <laughs> People are saying you said no before the question was over. Exactly! <laughs> I'm going to hire this guy as a con, and I'm going to lie to him. That would be fucking epic. Hire this guy, and then lie to him a bunch of times. Unprovably yes. fake shit, just to ruin his reputation. You going to squeeze your butthole? I'll squeeze my ass and everything. <laughs> <laughs> I can't get over this. Sound bite this. This is great. I just want to know, did you actually steal these designs from Teddy Fresh? No. Yeah, he starts saying no before he finishes the question. Uh, can you do? I want to do something where you just put in yes, and then we'll just play that soundbite oh, all the you, time. Oh, you could just edit from one, the ones that he says yeah, yes. Yeah, <laughs> just use that soundbite all the time. <laughs> Wrap that up. 
Can I point out too on his video? I'm trying to find Teddy Fresh in the comments and I'm not seeing it anywhere. Yeah, oh, he blocked I'm it. I'm sure he's deleting. Oh, oh he I totally know. blocked it. Yeah. By the way, how do I know he didn't even just e look at this? That's true. Oh. That's straight up a stock. They just cut that in anytime. <laughs> it's from any answer. That's true. Oh, that's true. true. Next question. Did you ever have a thing with Noah Beck? No, I was. <laughs> He's like, yep. He's like, yep. He does wish that. I gotta watch this now because I hate because I hate Jim Phil and I want to make fun of him. I actually thought that. I mean, that was stupid. Hi, sisters. Really, just freaking all. Yeah. Bro, no, you're not. Questions right away. Jeez. Oh. Um. Do you think that you can beat Larry in a fight? Watch your mouth, Larry. You mean Larry? How are we supposed to Larry with an extra A at the end? Uh, like, what kind of fight? Oh, like, physical. Okay. I can do this for you. Physical? No, but in lower. Next! Nobody fucking cares! <laughs> okay, James Charles. Have you I guess somebody cares. No, ever done a collab with someone you didn't like? At the time? At the time of recording. Dude, you fucking... No. True. This guy's full of shit. This guy's full of shit! <laughs> There's definitely people that I've clocked with. Oh, we know. Next. Alright. <laughs> 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 the time of recording. That's for sure. James Charles. Yes. Walmart. Have stolen a makeup look and not given credit? Uh, uh yeah. <laughs> oh, he said yes? Or he said yeah? He said yeah. A long, a long time ago, but now I always make sure to do it. But okay, shut up, liar. <laughs> wow. Haters are stepsisters. According I'm a stepsister. <laughs> We're a stepsister. <laughs> Dude, he literally he he blocked Teddy Fresh from the chat. All right, sister, I see how it is. I wrote for you, bro. You know, when it came time to show, you know, who was the real one, I wrote for James Charles. That's true. I fought mm -hmm. <laughs> that. Now that's a soundbite. That's true. I defended him. I fought for him. I'd have died for him. He was my sister. That's true. He says this is the same lie detector guy as David Dobrik uses in his videos. So and some of the vlogs once said it's not accurate. It's like a fad, whatever. Yeah, yeah. but you, YouTube thing. You could, these guys wouldn't put out an embarrassing answer. They obviously would edit it. Yeah. Yeah. The comments believe it, that's for sure. Well, yeah, sure. These people think that people think lie detectors are like voodoo magic with like they can read your heart and mind. You know what I mean? That's true. Right. Hey, uh, let me ask you a uh, let me ask some questions to the lie detector guy. Um, do you uh, are you um, just faking the, all the answers? That's true. Hmm. <laughs> That's what I thought. Does that laptop, are you doing anything on that laptop in front of you? Or is it just on, is Minecraft open or Minesweeper? That's true. Yeah, that's what I figured. It was just Minesweeper. Not software or anything. Do you have any formal training? Yes or no? Or do you, uh, uh, I'm trying to fr phrase yeah, it in yes or no. No questions. Mm. Is it true? Uh, uh, I heard you have no, no formal training at all. That's true. Oh, he's, they're saying <laughs> get James Charles to be the worst on Wikifeed. Oh, that's... You, mm, he already is. He already, already is. is? Dude, really? you know what happens to my enemies. What? You know what happens wait, 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 to my what enemies. What do you mean he are, he's already got... He has a low rating, rating on Wikifeed? 1.64. What? Yo, oh, was that our ooh. peeps? Oh, wow. Did our peeps ride? Oh, we never mentioned Look that. at his fucking feet. Look at these. Let's, Dude, his feet are fucking disgusting. I'm just kidding. I don't know. Just trying to be, but you know what happens to our enemies, right? What happens, Ethan? <laughs> oh, you know, I don't have to say what in God's name is this image. Uh, <laughs> yeah, one. Well, guys, you know what to do. I'm not telling you to fudge the numbers. I'm just telling. What I, here's what I w encourage you all to do: go to James Charles on Wikifeet and just share your opinion, share your thoughts. Give it a rating, share your thoughts. <laughs> but I would refer you specifically to this image here. As you share your thoughts. Right, Ela? <laughs> That's 
true. That's true. Whoa, wait. <laughs> what? Go back one. This one? His feet are kind of weird. I'm telling you, they're one star, bro. <laughs> they ain't beautiful like mine. They're pretty, they're pretty nasty, dude. Yeah, the comments weren't happy. Oh, let's read the comments. Didn't like the, these. They look like the feet of someone who steals merch. <laughs> <laughs> you could tell that from his feet? Wow. That's true. That is true. <laughs> Nasty feet. Mm, dirty and ugly. <laughs> For a boy, his feet are beautiful. Hey, get the fuck out of freak. You got weird taste. Hmm. Yeah, I got beef with James Charles now. Literally, I've got beef. Oh my god, his feet look freakish. I mean, I'm not trying to be mean, but what the god name is going on there? Looks like he's got a goat hoof. <laughs> you know, like these human goats? They're like they're like demons. Satyr. Is it a satire? It's got a goat hoof, girl. Sister, mm, what size? Are, what size shoehorn do you take? <laughs> all right, can we get back to our segment? No, this now is the that segment we're all now. Off. This is the segment, sister. We're at an hour forty-five, by the way. Yeah, well, I'm just getting started. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, stepsisters. <laughs> Oh, he's just opened a can of shit, shit sandwich. <laughs> shit lasagna. <laughs> shit lasagna. Poop lasagna, bro. About to take a poop lasagna in your sister's stall. <laughs> so funny. Right out my ass. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what's coming your way, bro. How is that? How is that a thing? Eat out my your ass. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> James is James Charles half goat. Are you asking this? I'm asking, asking the, the lie detector. Oh, it's true. He's yeah, it's true. He is half goat. Well, uh, that's infallible. Goat is good. Not for a human being to be half goat. Being the goat. Oh, the big, no! I said half goat, not the goat. <laughs> <laughs> Does James Charles have ass implants? That's true. I knew it. Fake ass. I don't think he denies that. Yeah, probably. Oh, really? Deny it. Does James Charles have a tiny pee pee? That's true. See, I didn't. That wasn't even a yes or no question. What do you? I, what are you yet saying is true? That's true. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. How do we move on? Is there any more James Charles content we can watch that's funny? What's about that one video of him tripping and eating shit? We can watch that over and over. <laughs> we should probably move on from James Charles. We should Charles. bring yeah. that detector guy. Yeah, I totally. I'm going to fucking scrutinize his ass. Let's do our own version. I want to see what's going on on his laptop. <laughs> what's going on there, dude? I know you're playing Minesweeper. But if we bring him to do a video with us, then we get to see the behind the scenes. I don't like, think he'll do it now. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think he'll agree. We should get our own. Well, what we should do is just dress Zach up like a fucking lie detector and like. Yeah. Just find some bozo off Craigslist and give him a laptop <laughs> buy, and have him go. That's true. Some cables. Yeah. Wrap it around your arm. That's true. Do you have a twenty-inch penis? Yes. <laughs> That's true. There you go. Infallible. <laughs> What is this? Oh, here. This is what I wanted you guys to watch. It's just James Charles eating shit in a mall. We made it out alive. We have the sweaters in hand. This is enough cardio for me. I'm literally hot. <laughs> James Charles, you just made the worst enemy of your life. <laughs> That's true. Yep. That one, come, that one rings true. <laughs> Infallible. I'm bringing my own lie detector and you are going down. Hey, am I the worst enemy you could ever make in life? That's true. That's right. Wait, we got to get a soundbite of him saying no. We never got one of him saying no. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Everything is true. Yeah, that's true. It's like, what's with this guy? He doesn't know how to say no. He doesn't have a single oh, wrong answer. This guy's never been fed a single wrong answer. <laughs> All right. You want to get back to the... Yeah. 
So actually, this one is this one actually I think competes with Joe Pesci. It's Kim Kardashian used to make music. Look what? at her hair, how big it is. Look at her fucking hair. Anyway, this is really bad. I was saying it reminds me of Patricia Marie, like straight up tan mom music. Yeah. Adam Bartichu. Oh, it's straight up not. tan mom. Tear me up. Tear me up. Yeah, that it's fucking hot. horrible. Oh, it's turn it up. Turn it up. Not tear me up. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was like tear me up. <laughs> I mean, this this is like Patrice Patrice Wilson level of music production. Yeah. So I mean. I, I guess we could wrap it up after this. We have so much content here. Let's watch one more Corey Feldman. This is basically going to be between Corey Feldman, Kim K, and Joe Pesci. What is going on in the music? <laughs> Did you? Let me fast forward. Oh my god, Ela, I just realized. I, I swear to fucking god, we've been in this house. Do you know what I'm talking about? Wait, re rewind time. We've been in this house when we were shopping for houses, and we saw all this weird Michael Jackson <gasps> shit. That's the I one. Just, that's his. That's his fucking. That's where we were, bro. Rewind time. When you guys were talking about it, I was wondering if it was his house. That's so funny. Really? I was like, I, I think that I think that was his house. Here, let me see. I'll wreck it. Here, let me see. No, it's a no. bit different backyard. Oh. The backyard was so fucking creepy. Yeah, that one had to be an old person. But it, well, okay. Anyway, this isn't as bad. I mean, it's it's as so awful. Uh, I mean, I just feel bad <laughs> for him though, kind of. Yeah, it's fucking horrible, dude. Okay, wow. I I thought it was great. I thought it was cool. Did I like this song? <laughs> If anyone needs your love, Zach, it's Corey Feldman, bro. Yeah, yeah. No, right. seriously. <laughs> All right, so you guys want to take a vote between Kim K, Corey Feldman, and Joe Pesci. I guess we all feel bad for um, for Corey, so... so I mean, bad. Joe Pesci is obviously... You, it's hard to compete with the eating the ass thing, but Kim K's, I think, is, is probably worse because, like, Joe's is just... It's like... Joe's is kind of fun. It's kind of fun yeah. and it's weird and wild. <laughs> no, I say Kim like... K for sure. But Kim K is just so embarrassing. Yeah, it's awful. She actually denounces the song now. <laughs> like, what does that mean? How do you denounce it? Like, she, she regrets making it. <laughs> she regrets making it. Well, I don't blame her for that. <laughs> of course, all these people do. Joe Pesci tried to race from the internet. She's not a good singer either. Special though. It's like the best and the worst. I gotta do it to. I, um, I mean, I, I think most of Chad is saying Joe. A lot of William Shatner, though. This is just the best. And the worst. Oh, it's a bitch that'll get you. But that's not an original beat. The bitch is gonna get you. It's a bitch that'll get you. It's the bitch that'll get you. That's what I always say. Hey, yeah, Kim, Kim K doesn't have a funny moment. All right, get out my ass. Treat all the broads like trash. Joe Pesci wins. <laughs> Bro, we have a lot of s stuff, man. We have a ton of shit. This is crazy. It's all evergreen. Save it for next week. Yeah. Um, let me see. If there's anything else I need to bring up before we end it. Ugh, God. Let me read some donations while you're looking over the doc. Yeah. yeah. 
Uh, here, scrolling up. $69.69 from Duck6. Ethan, <laughs> in the past, you've asked, uh, in the past, you've asked people if they sniff their own farts. I love all my own smells. Farts are just the beginning. Oh, geez. I love to call in on a future after dark to talk stank. I just have a good story about the time that I gave myself a blowjob. What? Mm, what? Well, that's what? called auto auto uh, fellatio, I believe. Bruh. Some people can do it. Oh, well. Huh? <laughs> well, okay. <laughs> yeah. Marilyn Manson tried, had two right? ribs taken out. Uh, Megan Oshark donated $28. Hey, guys, don't forget about Blue Beanie Remembrance Day. It's coming up on the oh, 6th. Oh, my goodness. The day that that one cafe in New York stole our beanie. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> that's funny. Wow, that's a throwback. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Rob, shout out to my dog, Butto. You guys are the best. Shout out to Butto. He donated twice $20, $40 for the oh. shout out to Butto. Um, New Age Metro, have you guys heard of Dan Harmon's rap about the simulation in his iced tea voice? No. <laughs> no, I don't. Dan Harmon blocked me on Twitter. What? Really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what? I don't know. I don't remember why. Did you interact with him at some point? Barely. Yeah, barely. I responded to one of his tweets, and he blocked me. He's got a reputation for being. Yeah. A very, and it's funny because uh, I've met him once at a Rick and Morty event, but I don't think he knows who I am. Huh. And he might know that Justin and I are friends, but. Huh. Well, that's too bad. He's a funny dude. Yeah, he's a talented guy. His stuff is great. Uh, $50 search. Uh, oh, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Throw yeah. this up. H3 out of context. Just put up a James Charles clip. Quick. H3 out of Here, context. That's oh, boy. perfect. Yeah, we love him. We love that man. He's the legend. The legend. H3 out of context. Did you actually steal these designs from Teddy Fresh? No. Why? <laughs> <laughs> Did you actually steal these designs from Teddy Fresh? No. Why? Well, you know I gotta retweet got that, right? <laughs> you know I gotta retweet that. I don't know. It's on the podcast. <laughs> He's a legend. That's I mean, great. he set himself steal up these for this. From Teddy Fresh, you no. did. He set himself up. No, no. We gotta get like all the no's. Like no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Did you actually? <laughs> yeah, it's awesome. Anyway, uh, anything else, guys? Anything else? Oh, I have a perfect costume with Trisha when we're recording next week. Mm -hmm. How it's even better now. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, well, maybe guys. It up? Yeah, we're gonna wrap it up now. Oh, there's one more person I have beef with here. Who no who, more beef. Yeah, this guy's going one. down. Yeah, it's a big meal. Look nasty. <laughs> She's a rating foot. I'm foot sorry. model. Uh, <laughs> yeah, this is Ethan Klein. He thinks he has some of the best feet on YouTube. What? Thinks? Uh -oh. Thinks? Sorry, bro. It's fucking tangible, empirical evidence. And by the way... um. Wait, so she didn't like it? And by the way, you could show a better picture, yeah. bro. You're not doing me any favors. I want to smell feet. Six. Six? Yeah. Yeah, well, you know what? He sh should have given me a better photo. And, Mike's next. And by the way, uh, fuck both y'all. You know I'm a fucking seven out of five. Next. <laughs> anyway, seven out of five. Ethan Klein here. Seven out of five. <laughs> Hope you guys have a great weekend. Please stay safe, wear a mask and all that. And, um, yeah. Hmm. Trying to think of some parting wisdom here. No wisdom. Parting wisdom. <sighs> I got nothing. Not very wise. Uh, no. Eat out my ass. Eat out my ass. Treat out the broads like crap. <laughs> parting wisdom would be. Be, it's always the bitches that'll get you. Is that what he says? It's the bitches that'll get you. Yeah, it's always the bitches that'll get you. I'm Ethan Klein. It's always the bitches that'll get you. <laughs> all right, guys. We'll see you next week. Love being here. Thank you to all of our members who make this episode possible. Thank you to everyone yeah, for watching and donating. We love you. We appreciate you all. H Street Podcast forever. We're not going anywhere anytime soon. See you next week on Monday. You know how we do it.
Peace. Peace and love. Peace You're wetting H to the three, 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 three. You're wetting H to the three, 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 three. You're wetting H to the three, 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 three. You're wetting H to the three, three, three. I'm out. <laughs>